Whoa, two in one day. Hi guys, welcome back to Honey Badger Arcade. Uh, got some breaking news. I know that other people have probably reported on this already, but I wanted to also get in on this. I think it's very important that we um, share this as often and as frequently and in, at as many places as possible. And I want to give my thoughts on this. So uh, Mark Kern, also known as Grums on X, has been doxxed. And I have here where he talks about it on side scrollers. We're going to watch this together. Um, I think that this is very serious. And, uh, it shows you just how far our opponents are willing to go. Remember, we are in the midst of a cultural revolution. They will tell you that it's not happening. It is totally happening. They are all for it. So let's let's take a listen at this. Well, um, obviously, I'm I'm pretty upset right now, so I gotta I gotta go slow. It's not gonna be my usual rah rah self. But uh, I got doxed, and uh, and my family got doxed, and uh, this is uh, from a Discord run by. Uh, a paid discord you have to pay to join it run by uh, Nick Calandra former editor-in-chief of the escapist and he's basically um, you know he's he, he he calls himself a journalist right and I'm gonna pause it there uh, Nick Calandra former editor-in-chief at the escapist I'm gonna ask and I think you guys know this do not contact these people do not harass these people this is what they thrive on this is what Powers them. This is what allows them to cash in on their victim bucks. And these guys are making money on this. They're gaining a tremendous amount of clout. They're getting cred. They're getting support from their backers. This is part of the plan. So just be aware of how dangerous things are. But do not, and I repeat, do not feed into this. Do not counterattack. Okay. Just look for legal counsel if you come across this yourself and if you have anything to offer to grums um you know reach it to him on twitter and it, maybe you're maybe you're a lawyer maybe you know someone maybe you have like a means because this guy these people they're not seeing any consequences they're getting the support from uh essentially everyone that supports the cathedral gets the support so anyway let's play some and uh, i guess uh you know, he, after The Escapist, he founded a YouTube channel called Second Wind, and they have a Patreon that pulls in an enormous amount of money. And he ha has uh, well over 10,000 members, 13,000, something like that. So he has been tweeting about me nonstop for two months, and I don't talk about this guy, right? But he's got some kind of hate boner for me, and he's been tweeting about me every day or every other day, trying to go after me. Uh, so much so that, uh, you know, he got exposed for publishing false information from a sting operation that one of my supporters did. But he's been asking uh, people on his Discord to send him information about me, personal information and company information, both. And, uh, and, he, and they have, and thousands of his uh, supporters on Discord have been trying to find everything they can about me and 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 posting it and his moderators are encouraging it well one of the one of the uh supporters uh well a couple of them ended up posting multiple addresses and information about anybody with a name similar to mine but they got some hits including uh an address of my family and um that person then edited their own post to say hey this is nick's secret but he only did that and yeah meadows the panda and he only did that after uh that address was out there in the open for thousands of people on this discord to see and he was not punished the moderators did said nothing in fact they said this is the most fun they've had and they openly disgusting this is this is infuriating uh they openly celebrated this the mods encouraged it nick went on to encourage it he said hey you know he didn't ban this person he didn't take any action he said uh hey if you find this stuff feel free to dm it to me but yeah any personal details or anything like that don't post it here so he wants that information 
he and he's encouraging them to dig it up and he wants it sent to him because he he knows it's a, it's a discord violation and he doesn't want to get banned from discord but he's weaponized his entire user base against me this is thirteen thousand people and he calls me a grifter but he's earning fifty three fifty four thousand dollars a month attacking me okay from his patreon and he does nothing about it he lets this go on he lets all this information out there and there are death threats against me okay there are well documented bounties on my head ten thousand dollars twenty thousand dollars thirty thousand dollars and these platforms do fucking nothing this stuff gets reported and they do nothing and journalists do it and they do nothing and there are no repercussions and this is wrong this is absolutely wrong and i'm furious it has put me in literal danger it has put my family in literal danger and there is I, I have no idea how to report this i have no idea how to report this to discord or to youtube his youtube channel or to his patreon where he earns fifty four thousand dollars a month coming after me what the fuck so uh he has i'm not gonna play the whole thing but i suggest you check it out um on side scrollers um it's about 20 minutes i uh, don't know about 15 minutes in is when they start talking about the docs because everything leading up to that is like introductions and ads and selling shirts and all that but like 15 minutes in they'll start talking to grums and um i didn't want to make this too long but i would suggest checking out the whole thing um this guy who has doxed him uh is denying everything he's claiming that it's all publicly available information which is technically true because you can spend like 20 bucks and have you know have anybody's private uh stuff found out because um it, you just have to pay for the service but he's also posting addresses uh they, they basically tried to find anyone who matches the name so they have the addresses of other people who have nothing to do with mark kern and family members and there's no penalties to the, for this discord hasn't is not acting or at least has not acted on this at, at all yet twitter has not acted on this at all yet um patreon hasn't acted on this so he's gonna call the police just to make sure he doesn't get swatted because it could happen right if they have the address they can send a swat team to his house um and any number of things and of course you know the left is always worried about doxing they're always claiming that they're in danger that they're always claiming that their lives are in danger they're getting death threats etc but as the as the iron law of woke projection shows whatever they tell you they're you're doing to them is what they will do to you whatever they claim you are doing is what they are willing to do they're always telling you what they're about when they try to tell you what you're about so um i hope that um mark kern's family remains safe i hope that he uh gets some restitution and i think that there has to be consequences to all these companies these people that are protecting him i mean i don't use patreon i never will use patreon for example um i i have a discord server for now but i'm thinking about changing to something else i mean i haven't created it yet because i'm waiting for us to reach the 500 membership but i'm starting to question that decision at this stage but i'd like to hear from you what you think about this have you heard about this news uh, is there anything in particular you think you can offer to help Grums out? Maybe follow him on Twitter, give him some words of support, uh, offer him some advice, maybe something that he can do. Maybe you've experienced this, this yourself. I don't know. So anyway, um, just wanted to make a short little video about that. Please uh, like, share, subscribe to this video, to this channel if you like this kind of content. I think it's very important. And I'll talk to you all in the next one. Long live Vivian.